In this video, I'm going to walk through how you can make a line drawing portrait pretty easily. You can see here on Etsy, there's ready in six hours, ready in five hours. You might have seen these. These are pretty cool and they really sell well. You can see this one here is in 20 plus baskets. You can see here there's another one here. This is ready in 24 hours. There's your family and they've made a nice line drawing here in seven plus baskets. And in this one here, 20 plus baskets, we can see Dana and Mark are getting ready to smooch because we've got a great looking line drawing here. Now, how do you make these line drawings? It's actually really easy and artificial intelligence is the answer. So here I am on chat GPT. You may have heard of this. I'll put a link to this in the video description. And what you wanna do is hit this little plus button right here. And you're gonna add a photo. So there's my photo that I've added. It's of a lady. And now I'm going to ask chat GPT anything. And I'm gonna type in here, create a faceless line drawing of the photograph. I'll hit go. And we can see here it's starting to process the image. And it says it's gonna take a bit. So have a cup of coffee while you're waiting. Okay, and it took about four minutes and we can see here there's an image down below. This is the line item portrait. It's very clean and you can download it right here. That'll download it as a PNG image and then you could open it up inside of Inkscape and you could trace the bitmap if you wanted to make it quite a bit bigger. And this is very easy to do. If you've never heard of Inkscape before, it's a free vector tool. It's completely free to download. Just go to inkscape.org and then you just select the image and you just go path trace bitmap. You're going to see a little menu here on the right hand side. I'll click update preview. We can see there it is. You can also increase the slider to make it a bit darker if you wanted. Update preview and then just click apply. And we can see here now I've got my vector file right here. I can click edit paths by node and I can see those are all the different nodes. And then I can make this quite a bit bigger. I can scale it up. And when it comes time now to export, I've got 3,200 by 4,800. That's the page. The document though is much larger. It's 7,000 by about 10,000. And I could make it as large as I want. And I could also increase the DPI, which is dots per inch to over 300. So you can make really, really large images here inside of Inkscape because you have a clean line drawing courtesy of chat. GPT. Hope you found that helpful. I'll put links in the video description below. Here's another video on how you can have some fun in the world of graphic design.